Welcome back to the channel. My name's Mark, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a tool review of sorts. So, um, what I have been doing is repairing an old Waltham pocket watch, and during that repair, I noticed that I had a broken jewel. So, I need to be able to um, measure the size of the diameter of the jewel and also the hole in the jewel so that I can order a new one and get it on the uh, get it on the way so I can get this repair finished. By the way, I will be sharing this repair with you at a later date. But this is just a little tool review, like I said, that I wanted to share with you because I'm very, very impressed with this tool. Now, you might be asking, what, uh, what kind of a tool is precise enough to be able to measure these little jewels and these little pivot, uh, pivots on the um, pallet forks? Well, I tell you what, move this to the side. This is my newest tool, and I really, really like this thing. It's a micrometer. It's a watchmaker's micrometer, and it is called the JKA Fine Taster. And here we have the instructions, and you'll notice that they're all in German. This is a German tool, and I'm lucky enough to have the uh, original instructions. And we'll talk more about that here in just a little bit. Now, first thing I want to do is measure the, um, the pivots on the pallet fork. Now, before we do that, I just kind of want to show what this does. There's a, a table over here, and as you can tell on the dial, the dial is um, divided up into 0 0.01 millimeters. So every one of these little hash marks is one one hundredth of a millimeter. Every one of the big dashes is a tenth of a millimeter, and I'm sorry, that's a, and every uh, 10 is a tenth of a millimeter. So you can see this is a very precise tool. When I first got it, I said, I told my, uh, my sons, I was like, this is the most precision tool I've ever gotten. And they were like, Dad, it's, wouldn't that be precise tool? And <clears throat> I'm not sure. I still call it a precision tool because I think it's built for precision. Now, it may be precise, but I think it's called a precision tool. Let me know in the comments, am I saying this wrong? Is it actually a precise tool or, or what? Let me know what you think if I'm wrong or uh, if my boys are wrong. So anyway, let's continue on and I'll show you around. There's a little table right here and that's where we can measure things like the actual jewel. And then over here, there's a jaw, or jaws, which open and they also, uh, you can measure there also. Now I'm thinking that this is where I will measure the pivots and this is where I will measure the diameter of the jewel. So let's see how that works out. Here's the pallet fork. And here here are the tiny little pivots that I want to measure. So what I'll do is I'll put that pivot in there. I did 
didn't get it. So that is measuring 0 0.15 millimeters. And that is incredibly small. So now, now I'll uh, reset this, my close up camera, and that up I want to make sure that that's right in the middle Now that measures a 0 0.70, so 7 tenths of a millimeter. Okay, so with these two measurements, I should be able to order, and there it went. these two measurements, I should be able to order the proper jewel. Okay, so that is the instrument, this precision instrument itself. I think you can see that it is going to be very, very helpful. In getting these very precise measurements that go into a watch and watch parts. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and ask me any questions about the instrument. And I look forward to your comments about if it's a precision instrument or if it's a precise instrument. Now, here are the instructions. Now, what I've done is I have gone ahead and uh, translated this, and I'm going to try to add a PDF file. If I can't add the PDF file, I'll just add um, maybe a JPEG, or I'll just show it to you at the end of this video, and you can pause it and read what it says. So if you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe or like and subscribe. And as I alluded to earlier in this video, I am in the process of repairing a Waltham pocket watch. And this thing has got some issues, let me tell you. It, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be up to the task. Because as you know, this is, um, this is something that I'm just getting into. been doing it for a couple of months now, and I've made about three or four videos. If you'd like, you can check out those videos too. I would really appreciate that. And just kind of like let me know how I'm doing. Um, tell me about your experiences with watchmaking. And um, we'll just kind of uh, share all this together. So for now, that is uh, the conclusion of this video. I really, really appreciate it as always. And until the next time we meet here, take care and God bless.